नमस्कार सब जाना लाई आई एम डॉक्टर सागर खतीवड़ा टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर यू माय एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ रिकरेंट पायोजेनिक कोलाइंजाइटिस एंड हाउ आई मैनेज द केस ड्यूरिंग द कोविड नाइन्टीन पैंडेमिक अ फिफ्टी सिक्स इयर्स ओल्ड लेडी प्रेजेंटेड विथ फीवर सिंस वन विक जंडिस एंड सीवियर एबडोमिनल पेन हर इनिशियल रुटीन इन्वेस्टिगेशन सजेस्टेड टोटल ल्यूकोसाइटिक काउंट्स वाज 25,400 लिवर फंक्शन टेस्ट सजेस्टेड टोटल बिलिरुबिन अफ 5.5 विथ फीचर्स अफ अब्सट्रक्टिव जंडिस पीटी आयनर वाज स्लाइटली रेस्ट हर क्रिएटिनिन वाज 1.7 मिलीग्राम पर डेसिलिटर सजेस्टिंग एक्यूट किडनी इंजुरी अन Examination she was tachycardic with pulse rate of 117 beat per minute temperature of 104 degree fahrenheit blood pressure was 90 by 60 mm of hg or mercury suggesting the patient is in shock she had tender right upper quadrant with palpable globular mass on right upper quadrant ultrasonographic examination revealed hepaticolithiasis common bile duct calculus and most importantly suspected emphysematous cholecystitis tokyo guideline 2018 suggest grade 3 cholangitis with emphysematous cholecystitis so the management protocol will be straight forward biliary drainage with cholecystectomy hence we plan for cholecystectomy cholecystotomy and extraction of intrahepatic calculi as far as possible and drainage of bile via t tube the main target of the surgery will be draining the bile from at least 30% of liver so bilirubin level drops down below 2.0 and revive patient from septic shock and organ failure this is intraoperative view a tubal o'clock position of cbd a longitudinal slit like incision is given This incision is bigger than the largest calculus measured by ultrasound. So, while removing the calculus, CBD won't lacerate. Let's project her CCT image reconstructed in three-dimensional view over the topography of operative field. We can orient her left hepatic duct, right hepatic duct and common hepatic duct clearly. Soon we can palpate multiple stones impacted on left hepatic duct left hepatic duct has larger horizontal course so to expose it a generous lowering of hyalur plate was carried out lowering of hyalur plate is done by incising the interface of the tissue between the left hepatic duct and quadrate lobe and lifting the quadrate lobe above another longitudinal incision along the course of left hepatic duct is visible from where stone is extracted finally all possible stones were extracted from left liver right anterior pedicle common bile duct and remaining part of the liver as far as possible After operation there was oil drainage of bile antibiotic cover was changed based upon the bile culture reports finally patient revived of sepsis jaundice cleared with total bilirubin falling to 1.7 from 5.5 kidney recovered with creatinine value 0.7 patient was discharged with t tube and on after 14 days due to burden of t tube in far rural area the patient resided in far rural area patient revisited hospital for definitive management of course there is no definitive single stage management in hepatolithiasis we opted for extraction of right posterior sectoral duct calculus and finally go for hepquino technique this is pre operative ct scan of patient showing dilated intrahepatic bile ducts we can see T tube is lightning is radio dense area now appears a hypodense area which is globular in shape our radiologist initially thought it was gallbladder 
probably remnant after partial cholecystectomy, but it was not the case as I had already performed cholecystectomy on this patient during first stage of operation. So what is this? Let's reveal it in intraoperative video. Now it's done for manual reconstruction of 3D liver from the CCT of the patient. This shows T-tube, a drain in Morrison's pouch. This is right hepatic duct, a left hepatic duct, and finally common hepatic duct. Here the common hepatic duct is red in color. So this was the globular structure seen on CT that is confused with gallbladder which we will later discuss. Our plan is hepatico jejunostomy where a segment of jejunome is lifted above to anastomos with hepatic duct at high lump of liver. Let's revise the topographical anatomy. We are going to lift jejunum, rule limb of the jejunum in retrocolic retrogastric fashion as shown by finger. A longitudinal incision is given extending between left and right hepatic duct and anastomosed with row limb of jejunum. Let's start second phase surgery done after 21 days. Gently, each drain is flushed by antibiotic solution based upon culture and sensitivity. Because of threat of cholangiovenous reflux, tube is flushed by antibiotic solution. The tube is blocked by the T tube is blocked by needle cap impacting with weight cotton swab so bile does not leak through this stump of the T tube. Makuchi incision was given and abdomen was opened in layers. Liver was freed off from its attachment, starting from ligamentum teres. Now we can see tissue around T tube. Gently, adesiolysis was done. A mature track around T tube can be visible. This globular pocket, which lies exactly below liver and gives a view of gallbladder. 
Gently, edesiolysis was carried on hilum of liver. T-tube was removed. CBT was identified and separated from hepatic artery and portal vein. Distal CBD was transected near duodenum and suture ligated. During extraction and lithotripsy of intrahepatic stone, intrabiliary bleeding occurred. This was tackled by inserting Foley's catheter and inflation balloon by 10 ml saline. The basic principle is taken from sang sticken bulky mode tube, which is used in esophageal bleeding. 20 cm from DJ flexor, jejunum is measured and prepared for transection of jejunum. Mesenteric window is created carefully. Intestinal clamps are applied and jejunal transaction was carried out. Each end of the transected plane of jejunum is switched. Let's revise the topographical anatomy. Here finger shows the tunneling path to leave the jejunum and reach hepatic hilum. A tunnel is created just left of middle colic vessels. Rule limb of the jejunum is pulled through the tunnel and approximated to hepatic hilum. We can still see Foley's catheter at bleeding point, but please keep checking if liver ischemia develops by Foley's balloon that compress the right anterior pedicle. This is my personal experience. Jejunostomy is tailored based upon biliary opening. We use railway or ropeway technique for hepatico jejunostomy. One by one, each switches are tied and approximated. The posterior layers first are approximated in Dr. Mikusha fashion.
After completing posterior layer, interior layer is completed. Remember, bile has low surface tension and it has detergent effect. Hence, the anastomosis must be airtight and switcher should be taken in such a way that the two switchers is near enough to ensure airtight anastomosis as well do not jeopardize vascular supply of the anastomosis. If the vascular supply is jeopardized, then of course the patient later will land to leakage or bile leakage. Inflated foli tip not only compress the biliary duct but also the anterior pedicle, so you must be very careful to prevent the ischemia of the liver. This is my personal experience, so I advocate regular checking of liver if ischemia ensues. If ischemia ensues, then the folies should be removed immediately. Finally, jejunojejunostomy is carried out. Initial seromuscular continuous suture is taken for jejunojejunostomy, which is reinforced by interrupted suture. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much. And I will shortly show you the patient's profile and how patient recover.